So I'm going to give you the recipe for a basic chocolate sponge and uh, also the recipes for the ganache for filling it and the buttercream. So the ingredients that you need, I always use soft bacon margarine. You need sugar, light brown sugar, ordinary caster sugar will do or golden caster sugar. Either, any of them. I've used light brown sugar. You need self-raisin flour and I add a little bacon powder to it. So just make sure it's bacon powder. And then because it's chocolate sponge I'm using cocoa powder. And I like this one out of Tesco's because I think it has really good uh, chocolatey flavour. And then you will need eggs. So I fitted my mixer with the whisk attachment and my method is an all-in-one method and I find that it's so quick and easy to do and it doesn't fail so this to me is the best method for me. I will use two sandwich tins so these tins will need to be greased and then lined with some bacon parchment or grease proof paper and I set the oven to about 170 degrees centigrade and it will take around 20 to 25 minutes, it's usually 25 minutes in my oven but every oven is different. So here is the recipe and the method. So we need 225 grams of golden caster sugar, 225 grams of the soft bacon margarine, 200 grams of self-raising flour, 30 grams of cocoa powder, a teaspoonful of bacon powder, five medium eggs and a teaspoonful of vanilla extract. And how do you make it? Very easy. In a mixer fitted with the whisk attachment, sieve in all the dry ingredients, add the soft bacon margarine, the vanilla and the eggs. Beat for roughly a minute until on slow to the ingredients are incorporated. Turn the mixer off, scrape it down, back on again for another minute. And that's it ready. Into the two tins and bake for 30 to 35 minutes. So at the end of 30 to 35 minutes, this is roughly, well, 25 to 30 to 35. These ones were in for 25 and it's quite enough. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to um, finish off the cake. So it's going to cool and then I'm going to fill it with a chocolate ganache. So a chocolate ganache is um, double cream and chocolate and I like to use Galaxy but any milk chocolate, dark chocolate depending on what you want yourself or what you have in the house you that's what you need to, to fill it. This is the chocolate ganache recipe that I use and I use 350 grams of chocolate. Cooking milk or dark I like Galaxy and 250 mils of double cream. So all that you do is break the chocolate into pieces in a bowl, boil the cream and stand over and watch it, I don't want it to boil over, pour the cream over the chocolate pieces and keep stirring and stirring and stirring until the chocolate is completely melted and it's nice and glossy and smooth and that's it ready. So it does need to sit until it solidifies. If you put it into the fridge and leave it overnight it'll get quite solid. A second or two in the microwave and it'll soften down again. So if you are using it for a filling, it does need to be semi-solid, I suppose. If it's too runny, it'll just run all over the cake. And if it's too solid, it won't spread. But what I'm going to do for my cakes, I'm actually going to split each one of these in two. And I'm going to put some ganache in between each one. And then I'm going to um, sandwich the two together with another layer of ganache. You can also use buttercream. So I'm going to show you the buttercream recipe in a wee second. So that's my ganache and it's quite solid because I made that yesterday. So that was the 350 grams of chocolate and 250 of double cream. And it's made enough, just enough to do that cake. Now in this bowl here, I have got some buttercream because eventually this one, uh, this cake, chocolate cake is actually going to be my granddaughter's confirmation cake so I need to put a crumb coat on it but um, to make the buttercream it's half butter to icing sugar 
And for this batch that I have made here, I used a block of unsalted butter and 500 grams of icing sugar. Uh, some vanilla essence, a teaspoonful, and a tablespoonful of milk. So you beat the butter first for a minute or two until it's uh, nice and soft and, and starting to turn white. Add half the icing sugar, beat well for a further minute, add the remaining icing sugar, and beat it well again. And then add your vanilla essence and give it another good beat. And it turns out nice and creamy. Now, I could have used this for all of the cake. So what you can do, you can use the buttercream and just melt uh, some chocolate and take some of the, the buttercream out and mix it with the chocolate. So either way, it gives you a good filling. But that this time I'm using the ganache for filling and I'm using the buttercream as a crumb coat round the outside of it. So the crumb coats go round the, the two cakes sandwiched together and then I'm going to put some white fondant icing on top of it. So that's my basic chocolate sponge.